What's going on everyone? So in this video I'm going to show you how to clean up your Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. One of the most egregious things that carriers have done is install a bunch of crapware, bloatware, whatever you want to call it. Now, I have installed a bunch of my own applications already, but the carriers in their infinite wisdom decided to install their own on the phone as well. So while you can't uninstall these completely, unfortunately, without rooting or doing something like that, you can disable them and hide them, keep them from updating on their own and everything. So the way you do that is you can either individually hold this, and then if you go to turn off, it'll give you a message saying this app will be turned off. To turn it back on again, go into settings, applications, application manager, and hit turn off. You do that one by one if you got the time. I don't got time for that. So I'll go ahead and hit edit. And then anything that can be removed or disabled or hidden will have a little minus sign on it. Most of the stuff that you've installed yourself can be removed, obviously. Uh, but some of the AT&T stuff, some of the Samsung stuff can be removed as well. So hit the little minus sign, hit OK. And then just keep doing that. Yeah, so the rest of this is stuff that I've installed. And this other stuff that has no minus signs, you can't remove these, but as you'll see in another video that I'll do for third-party launchers, you can hide these um, if you do use a third-party launcher, which I would highly recommend you do. Uh, but I just wanted to show how to clean that up. And disabling most of these will not affect the phone adversely. Um, it still functions just the way it should. Of course, if you use those apps and then you disable them to get them back. Oh, this guy snuck away from me. Uh, yes. But if, for example, you just un disable one on accident that you don't want to disable. So to get it back, go to Settings, Device, Applications, Applications Manager, let this guy populate with the apps on your phone. And then on this little drop down here, go to dis oops, disabled. And it shows you everything you've disabled. And then from here, you can just start enabling stuff again. So there you go. Quick and simple. This will work on the S7 and S7 Edge version. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, Make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. Or you can hit me up on my homepage or drop a comment in this video. Until next time, good luck cleaning up your Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Take care.